Hey guys, Larry from Union Electric. I'm up here uh, working on a Town 5 wind turbine. It's a 5kW unit. Um, and we're about 40 feet off the ground here. Uh, yeah, I did scale this uh, tower, but the customer has a problem with it. He just installed it not too long ago. And the manufacturer said the computer was going to work. It turns out it's up here. It's one of the planes. Uh, I took a check of what's down there and found out it's not the uh, motor. What it is, uh, this has a variable pitch. It's great to adjust speed and what I found here is the bolt inside here snapped off uh, causing these blades to pitch in the wrong direction uh, to not stay flat in the wind like a normal turbine that won't spin the turbine so I have to break on it right now so I'm going to break it too much a little bit of resistance to it uh, but we're waiting for a new bolt to come we're going to put the bolt in here and uh, give this baby a go uh, but it's a good sized turbine there's not much on this turbine so I'm going to do a little video out and put it out there for people to get out with me Get one. Um, I don't really like it because it's like bells and whistles. Uh, this all works on the ball. I'm a ball very nice set up here. You can see them. I'm moving them. How they work. And this has to be greased about every 3,000 hours. And it's definitely a good sized turbine. It's a downwind turbine. Uh, it doesn't have a tail on it, so the wind actually comes from that direction and hits the blades this way, not from the front. When I first looked at it, I'm thinking, oh, the blades are on backwards, but I remembered it was a downwind turbine. Um, so it's got a variable pitch on a control that actually actuates the blades back and forth in high wind. And it'll make this thing uh, kind of less efficient as the wind speeds up when it gets crazy winds here. The guy's got a nice sight. It's a nice area. And I'm about an hour outside of Pottstown, PA. Myersville, PA is where this is. So, um, brand new turbine, and uh, the bolt sheared off. And I'm hoping I put a new bolt in here. I can fix it and uh, get this guy back on his way. All right, so just a short video here if anybody knows one of these guys. Um, definitely one one of the problems with them. And this is hooked up to a uh, SMA uh, Windy Boy grid tire inverter, uh, 6,000 watt grid tire inverter. All right, guys, so just a short video on um, a Talon 5 wind turbine, the 5 inch 5K. Uh, it's a nice size unit. Blades are six feet long. And uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty much a monster. <laughs> so I'm hoping I can fix this thing here. It's a pretty windy day. Uh, so I'm hoping to get this bolt back in and get this thing up and spinning and uh, see if there's any other problems with it down in the control. But uh, that's it for now. So if you guys are looking for a town wind turbine, uh, comes with the tower. This thing's about 38 grand, all said and done. Uh, I would not recommend it because of this problem right here. There's just too many bells and whistles. And what's wrong with just having the blades on the turbine and, uh, you know, using a dump load control and things like that down below so you don't have to get a lift like this and pay somebody to come out here like me and fix it after three months of it running and uh, the bolt sheared off. All right, so something simple but holding up the whole turbine. So just wanted to share, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.